Who are you to think that you're more important than someone else? I tell you, hundreds of millions of people are your siblings. Wake up to reality. The lost tribes, our siblings, our sisters and brothers, our holiest, holiest part, the larger part of our nation. Ten tribes out of twelves. Out of twelves out of 12 tribes. The majority of the children of Jacob and his wives. The majority of the descendants of, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob are out there in the exile. And you're busy. Oh no, when are they going to open the mikveh again? Go to the ocean. I want to see you swim with the sharks. I want to see you go and dip in the ponds in front of your house, your fancy villa. Wake up to reality. Wake up to the real reality of life where the Creator stands. The Creator never forgot one of His children. He will never leave one of us behind. He will never be judgmental for the color of our face or the voice of our accent or our vocabulary or our wisdom and or how much talent we have or how many years of education we learn. The Creator, He's the Father of mercy. And if you don't have mercy in your heart, you are disconnected from your Father. Not the other kids. Not the children who desire the Creator with all they might. With all their power. With all their heart. People from Brazil. People from Africa. People from Russia. People from, from, from Iran are calling me over the phone. I love you, I love your people, you are my mentor, you are my rabbi, you are my teacher, you are my master, I want to follow you, I want to be part of you, I desire, I dream of the Holy Land, I dream of Zion, I want to be part of your people. We are lost, not they, they are not lost, they know exactly what they want. Who is a lost person? A lost person is a person who doesn't know the way. You lost your way, they know exactly what the way is. The way is to be straight and honest, to be truthful and loyal, to go and save and redeem your, your brothers. This is exactly what Yehuda, the head of the tribes, that you claim to be Jewish. Now let's see what you're made of. If you're made of the tribe of Yehuda, if that lion cub of Yehuda lives inside of you and roars, that he asked and cried, how I'm going to come back to see my father and the child is not with me. How I'm going to see the face of my father Yaakov when his child is not with me and I guarantee to him, I promise to him that I'm going to bring him back. How you call yourself Yehudi, the tribe of Yehuda, if you're not going and collecting your siblings from between the nations, from between the wolves. And I'll tell you, hundreds of millions of people are your siblings out there. You know, the Nazis, they killed people that were not even considered Jewish. Even people that were children of a Jewish father but not a Jewish mother was executed in Auschwitz and was burnt in the stoves over there. And not only him, also third generation from a non-Jewish mother but from a Jewish father. Three generations were killed for their Judaism and they're not Jewish. Why they've been killed so? Explain to me why they've been killed. Why the even inclination, why the angel of death decided to kill those people. Why? Why if they're not Jewish? You want to say that Amalek, that Hitler wanted to kill the Jews, right? Because of their holiness and importance, right? The war of darkness against light. Why the dark side went for those people? They're not part of your uh, illumination, right? You're wrong. You're in darkness. You are in darkness. The souls of the converts are higher than the souls of the Jewish people. The souls of the converts, the Creator is calling them in ways of affection and love in a higher and more elevated way than on the Jewish people, on the Israeli people. For the Israeli people, the Creator said that He loves us in five forms. In five places, the Creator revealed His love through the Bible, in the Bible, on us, to tell us, I love you. But on the converts, 
He said all those five times and added the sixth one. And they are the completion. And they are the jewelry. And they are the pearls and the crowns. They are the holiest stones, the most precious ones. And we're mentioning it in all our prayers and in Birkat Amazon. And in every step of the way, we must remind ourselves to love the Ger, to love the converts. And to accept them and to appreciate them. For why? For what reason? Because you were also over there, Gerim, in the land of Egypt. And you should remember that you came out of Abraham, that he was a convert. And if you don't remember where your father came from, start asking yourself if he's your father. Wake up and remind yourself what the right way is and what your real life mission is, and what really you need to do with your life.